my name is Adrian Nanchev and this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur and I'm talking about self-limiting beliefs how to get rid of them self-limiting beliefs are essentially just beliefs you have in your head self-restrictions that are disallowing yourself or disqualifying yourself from achieving and it's something you would often fall back on or in my case to fall back on to justify why I wasn't winning and it was something that I had in my head that is restricting you from achieving it from from me as well as you from achieving when I started my first business it was an e-commerce store I started it in January 2015 it took around two months to get started and it was around a thousand pounds to actually launch which is quite bad two months and a thousand quid far too slow and far too expensive the, the self-limiting beliefs I had back then was whenever I wasn't making any money I would say well it's because I'm cursed I'm cursed I'm not making money and whenever there was no sales no one buying anything I would justify that by saying well it's okay I'm not allowed to make money anyway those were my two main beliefs especially the, this is one especially is really bizarre like, I was cursed like where do you get that from that's why the self-limiting beliefs are all in your head there's no evidence on them it's just they're all in your head cursed and not allowed like, who, who gave me who, who took the permission away from me no one did okay <laughs> so it's, it's all in your head so this is why I realized that when you start a business as an entrepreneur or anything as, as an individual the self-limited beliefs are virtually all in your head all in your head and the best way to get rid of them is just through starting small and seeing successes starting start small and see successes so this is why I look back at the business and say a thousand quid nine hundred nine thousand nine hundred ninety seven quid and two months it's far too big start small use someone else's infrastructure and leverage someone else's domain and systems look sell on Amazon or sell on Shopify or sell on Etsy places like that and don't bother with the big stuff because it's far too expensive and only really risk the capital the money that you can afford to lose so just go in there and start with someone else's platform and start small as well because as you start small and you see to and you start seeing small successes it expands the comfort zone and it proves to you, even the minutest, the first pound, the first dollar of profit, it proves it starts to prove to yourself and starts to reverse this self-belief from a negative to a positive. You start to see that what you're doing is working, and as it's working, it shows to yourself that it can be done, that you can achieve it, and thus that self-belief over time, through success after success after success, gets destroyed. Understand that the earn one dollar online or one pound online is difficult to earn ten pounds online is easy because that first dollar is always the hardest but once you've done it once you've done it once you can do it again and again and again and again and again and once you get to the tenth the hundredth the thousandth it gets even easier and easier and easier because you've done it before it's like when I first started to drive a car years ago in 2010-11 I used to believe that I would never be able to pass my driving test but I would, I would reason, this is way before I became an entrepreneur, way before, I would think, I'm driving and there's hundreds of cars around me, every car, while I'm on the road, every car has got a driver in there. That means that every driver, every car, that driver has passed his driving test. And there are hundreds, every, every corner, every roundabout, every road, there's hundreds of cars more or less. So I justified that if they can do pass the drive if they can do the test and pass it then that means by logic I could do it as well and it was that same kind of reasoning that carried me through into the first business because if they can do it if all these people can achieve X Y and Z online build a business online then oh I can as well it only makes sense it makes sense doesn't it? it only makes sense so I that took me through and when I started the second business all those beliefs were washed away because when I went as I stuck to and persisted in my first business and really challenged challenged those beliefs by seeing small successes and expanding my comfort zone bit by bit day by day I managed to get much bigger successes in the second business um, um, and they're only going to be even bigger successes in the future and if it wasn't me for getting the comfort zone expanded little by little tiny bit by tiny bit every day little by little I would be recording this video, wouldn't have the tenacity, wouldn't have, wouldn't be, wouldn't dare to record the video. I don't have this knowledge either to share with you. So 
two ways to get rid of self-limiting belief is to start small, or maybe three even. Start small, see successes, and expand your comfort zone. Because as you change, as you improve, as you become better, as you become remarkable, your life will change around you. With the first business, it plateaued almost the, the day it launched. Th uh, 13th of January 2015 was when the website was launched. I was at a music concert in Manchester, and I got a message on Skype, I think it was, saying, website's done. It's like, wow. At that point, what do I do now? I had no idea. My comfort zone has expanded to its limits. What do I do now? Learn, learn, learn. Always expand your comfort zone, and you can do more. And once you can do more, you can become more. And once you become more, you can become remarkable. And that's what the channel is all about as well. Hmm. So, if this is the first time to the channel, subscribe, because this channel is all about helping you become a remarkable entrepreneur. And I'm grateful for playing a small part in that. So, subscribe, and you'll see me again soon. How cool is that?